and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I am back from the dead. Well, not from the dead, obviously, it's just the same, but yeah. So, I am back after six months or even a year of not even doing YouTube, and it's really, really strange and quite uncomfortable. But here we are, and um, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Uh, I've just got a few updates for you. Shut up, phone. <laughs> got a few updates for you like hi I'm back um, this is where I've been um, and the future of YouTube with my channel uh, the nitty gritty shall we where have I been for the last year to six months well I have been suffering with health conditions um, which still the doctors don't know so I've been referred to different consultants at the hospital that's local to me to find out what is going on with my body. Yes, um, so a lot of things have suffered due to this. Um, they think I might have rheumatoid arthritis, they're not too sure. I could have any autoimmune condition, they still don't know, because um, nothing's showing up in the bloods, but I'm getting a lot of symptoms um, to do with it, so much so I can't really do much day by day sometimes um, with the flares. I've had four flares in the last like four months, should I say. Um, and one of the really, really difficult bits about it is the brain fog. So I could be talking to somebody and then all of a sudden I'm not making sense or I'm trying to get the right words out but I can't think straight. It's like being completely exhausted all the time. And then try to get out of bed, but you feel like you're about 85 years old because you can't actually get out of the bed properly for like five or ten minutes. And it takes you ages to wake up. It's horrendous. So that's what I've been dealing with. And obviously having juggling everything in my life, like my job, uh, my toddler, my business and YouTube. So some things had to be put on the back burner, like my business had to be put on the back burner. In fact, I nearly just decided that was it, I'm not doing it anymore. Due to this, because obviously my hands, if I can't use my hands, how am I supposed to make things for my business? Don't know. I wouldn't be able to. Um, so that had to be on the back burner. YouTube was certainly on the back burner, hence why I haven't been here for a long time. And I just had to concentrate on work and life and basically living day by day until it actually got a little bit better. Now my hands are working again for now. I've basically come back with a banner on, on my uh, Facebook and Instagram when it comes to my business. I will leave a link in the description below if you're actually interested in anything like that. I do crochet items um, and they bespoke crochet items but like I say if you are interested and want a bit of a nosy it's down in the uh, description box below um, so have a gander let me know what you think I'm gonna talk about YouTube in general um, a lot's changed on YouTube I've, I'm basically on YouTube all the time looking at videos of all sorts of stuff uh, and so I'm subscribed to a lot of people as well so I like to have a look at what they're doing and saying and blah 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 um, but it's come to me that I might I'm a bit stuck really um, I don't know whether to change my name on here or completely trash the whole channel and start a new channel uh, like brand new been away for so long so it's brand new channel brand new me you know that type of thing or, you know, I just keep the channel, keep the name and just carry on. Nah, I'm not too sure about that. Only because my name is Mama Moosey on here. I uh, started this when I was uh, a new mother, first time mother. Uh, my thoughts on that was I was going through really bad postnatal depression and I just thought to myself, well, if I get myself out there to the world as such, it might make me feel better and it might have some connection with someone out there that I might have been through the same thing as me. But I don't even think I actually did a video on that because I just didn't get around to it or I just felt uncomfortable about doing that. Um, 
but that was my main thing of, you know, my main reason why I wanted to get out on YouTube. Um, yeah, I know I'm waffling on, but my point being was I set up this channel to basically get myself out there and talk to people who had been through what I'd been through or make someone aware that it happens and there's people out there that you can talk to and I don't even think I actually got around to making that video and I don't know whether I'll ever will do that. I'm not too sure. But that was the main reason why I joined. But seeing I've been doing reviews and hauls and all that jargon, jargon, I should say, I've enjoyed every single moment of it, my ad. Um, doing reviews, um, which is like, some of them are parent related. Like I did uh, a review on Nom Nom Kids, um, and it was pretty good stuff that you know that we used uh, reusable snack bags and pureed um, holders, doing all that. And I thought it's great reviewing all of this, but I'm not showing my child on the on on YouTube. Um, um, not willing to either. I mean, there's nothing against anyone doing that. Um, there's lots of mummy bloggers and stuff like that. And I haven't said to anyone out there that I am a mummy blogger or a blogger or whatever. Um, and I have nothing against anyone doing that and showing their children on there because it is nice to see faces after talking about them a lot and all that. But I just don't feel comfortable showing my child's face on YouTube. Uh, I don't know why, I just don't, and I just think I've been a bit of a, I don't know whether that people would want to see reviews on certain things that you can for children without seeing the child, and if that's the case and you want to see reviews on like children's wear or um, children's toys and stuff, and you're not so bothered about seeing them in action as such, then that's great, but some people like to see that and I'm not willing to do that so this is where it comes to it do I change the name of my channel or do I keep it I have absolutely no idea and um, it'd be nice to know what everybody out there thinks my subscribers or even people who are just passing by and watching this it'd be nice really I don't mean to waffle on and I know I am a big waffler, my heart, and I'm trying so hard not to get off track, but it's really hard sometimes. So, yeah, any comments down below would be great about, about it. Um, yeah, so I basically wanted to tell everybody where I've been and what my plans are. And I'm still a bit indecisive when it comes to all of it. So, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, I'm going through a bit of a, I don't, I'm not going through a midlife crisis because I'm not, mid, I'm not middle aged. I don't think age is not middle aged, is it? No. I'm going through a bit of an identity, an identity crisis at the moment. I don't know how I feel in myself. You know, is this, is this me? You know, um, I've lost. 11 and a half pounds since the last time I did a video. Doesn't feel it, but I have uh, because I've got a wedding coming up and I'm a bridesmaid. So I thought, right, you know, I'm not happy being like this. And I've also started doing like some exercises classes, Ugh, exercise classes as well to try and get my mental health a little bit more stable and basically sort my body out as well and get on with that. and not have as many flares, see if that helps stop, you know, stop me from having as many flares as well, see if that helps, because sometimes exercise helps, it all depends on what condition I've got in, in things, and here we are, I'm waffling on, great, um, so hopefully this isn't as awkward as it is for me, this video, um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you all know where I've been. Well, what I'm planning to do, so please, please, please let me know in the comment section below what you think and what you want to see. 
Um, I do like doing YouTube. It makes me feel a bit more confident in ways. Um, but it'd be nice to know what you think. Um, I'm just waffling now, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.